And welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I um, thought I'd do a quick video here. I've done quite a few lengthy ones. And um, I also thought I'd talk about the Atari again, because I haven't for a while. Um, but this is not specifically about a game. This is about the Atari cartridges themselves. I got a couple of really nice binders here that uh, I keep my Atari cartridges in. And uh, as you can see, we've got a variety of different titles here. Many of my favorites, Space Invaders. I really like Superman. I'm going to do a video about that someday. I got Surround, which is one of my favorites. The Empire Strikes Back, the very first Star Wars uh, video game, by the way. And a couple of Activision uh, cl uh, cartridges. Now, uh, from the um, title, you're um, actually, uh, those who know a bit about uh, Atari, know immediately what this is all about, this video. Um, when I was collecting these cartridges back again, uh, having owned many of these games back in the day, I thought, right, I'm going to go and get, go out there and start uh, combining up all the different Atari cartridges that I used to love as a kid. And when I did so, I wanted to make sure, you know, I've got uh, nicely um, cartridges that nicely represent and, and look nice. And um, I ran into a bit of a snag when it came to the Activision games. Um, Kaboom here looks actually not too bad. In fact, uh, that's probably the best cartridge for Activision I've ever seen. Um, I wonder if it's maybe a reproduction, because it looks suspiciously pristine. But anyway, um, what is so suspicious about the fact that that looks so nice? Well, Beam, Beam Rider here, that looks pretty good. Um, but of course it's a very busy kind of a label, no big deal. But when it came to getting Frostbite and a bunch of others, I looked online and I thought, Ooh, ugh, what is, what, what's wrong with that label that looks like somebody spat on it or something? Well, I won't buy that one. So I kept waiting and looking around and waiting and looking around and it turns out practically every Activision cartridge out there has this goo all over it or you know this kind of like like mottled gross labeling to them again that's why the kaboom is suspiciously pristine um this is called this is actually a thing uh this is known in the atari collecting community and it's called actiplaque uh activision tape t uh activision labels are particularly notorious for this uh, more so than atari ones uh, not to say atari ones aren't capable of it in fact if i uh pull out, I mean, Superman here. He looks really, really nice. Uh, almost like the day he was originally on store shelves. Space Invaders as well. But my surround is a little... I don't know if it's going to come out in the camera there. It's it's a little bit off. Now again, it's hard to tell with this label because it's so busy. It's got a lot of patterns and stuff on it. Um, but yeah, then when you look at um, Frostbite here, you're just like... Whoa! That looks just grim! And again, that is this stuff called Actiplac. Um, I've been uh, doing a bit, quick bit of research here, and apparently it's due to a high silicone content in the uh, glue that was used back in the day, and I guess very thin paper. Um, I guess maybe Atari cartridges used a slightly different type of glue, but uh, yeah, this, this is something that everybody knows about. Actiplac! So, if you're intending on uh, collecting Atari cartridges, um, you'll have fewer problems with Atari ones and uh, these Parker Brother ones. This one seems to be in pretty good shape. But if, like me, you want to make sure that your Activision cartridges... That's not going to go back in there now. Get in there. Okay. Um, if you're like me and you're assuming your entire Activision collection is going to look like this, you know, practically like a brand new cartridge, man, that does look suspiciously good. That's got to be a reprint. Well, maybe not. Actually, around the letters of Kaboom, I can kind of see a little bit. It's probably not coming through in the camera. A little bit. Yeah, okay, you can kind of see it there. But man, for uh, for an example of Actiplac, that, that cartridge is in remarkably good shape. The vast majority of them that I see out there are this grody kind of... Somebody's been sneezing on this thing. Yeah, if you want to get your Activision collection back up to uh, snuff to where it used to be, you're going to run into Actiplac. Um, and apparently there's also, and I, I found a lot of information about Actiplac for doing this video, um, great information on Atari Age. I'm going to put uh, links down below that deal with a couple of these different subjects. Uh, several of them are quite old. I think there's a, uh, one post is from 2004, another one from 2009. Um, yeah, apparently there's another company called Epix that did some games. Now, I don't have any Epix games. But they had an even weirder problem where they would develop this 
this gross dark mottling color, but almost like in the center, uh, like where this TV screen is, there would be this sort of dark area, like a like a sweat stain or something. It's just weird. People at Atari age thought, well, if this is Actiplac, what are we going to call that? Epic's Pit? Who knows? Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about Actiplac because uh, it makes for an interesting subject. And yeah, it was something I learned. If I wanted to get more Activision cartridges, um, I gotta just take it as it is. You need to take it with the Actiplac on it. Um, one final thing, again, there's a link down below. There is a company um, that uh, did a kind of cleaning material called Linder... Lindel label, I think it's called. I can't remember what it is. Um, again, links down below. Uh, there actually, uh, there's a subsidiary as of I think 2004 or maybe it was 2009. Anyway, from what, quite a while ago, there is a subsidiary here in Canada in Toronto that make this stuff that you can apply. And uh, the guy on Atari Age posted kind of before and after pictures of how he got his plaque. Uh, reduced down to a pretty nice level and it looks pretty impressive. So maybe someday if I feel like uh, endangering these classic cartridges I might uh, I might give that stuff a go because this frostbite does look pretty gross and it is one of my favorite games from even back in the day. Well there you go. There's Actiplac and it's a real thing. I mean it's got entries in the A to Z dictionary and also the Urban Dictionary. So uh, you look it up you get hits for Actiplac. It's a known thing. Just crazy. But it all goes well with the Atari collection, I suppose. Right. Well, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.